I don't remember the last one that I posted, but I love holidays. I am what you call a holiday ho. Love holidays. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a video that nobody asked for. A Valentine's Day glam. I feel like I haven't done a makeup video in a while. It's been all about my hair. Speaking of hair, you'll notice mine looks a little different. A little short. Um, my ends took a huge toll this winter. My hair was so dry. She's healthy though, um, considering what I chopped off. I can do a hair like journey over the past year video because my hair has been, she's been through some changes. I just wanted to take a break from hair videos and do some makeup ones for a change. So I have a couple of those coming up for you. Um, so I've already done my base because you guys, one, you guys have seen me do my base a million times, but also my skin, she's not doing too well. We don't need to see bare face me right now. I love doing these holiday themed eye looks. I don't remember the last one that I posted, but I love holidays. I am what you call a holiday ho love holidays any excuse to dress up put on makeup and have a good time i'm there so yeah let's just get started with this video so today's look is brought to you by the amrezy palette i know i needed another eyeshadow palette another abh eyeshadow palette um but i saw this i saw the packaging and i had to i had to do it sorry not sorry but we're using mostly shadows from this palette and then a little combo we're gonna tag team with my huda beauty huda who who huda beauty huda beauty <laughs> nude palette um for some of the transition shades and that's gonna be Ooh, dang it. i did not prime we're priming all right we are primed and i'm going in with tickle and that's gonna be like my transition color we're going very plummy very pink i know plums and pinks for valentine's day we are breaking down norms with this look all right now that i have tickle on most of my eyelids um i'm going to go in with seismo seismo what the i'm not having a very good day with pronunciation but this is gonna be like my outer corner and i'm just bringing it in a little bit because i feel like i have small eyes and my outer corner is not as big as i think it is just being aware of the space that we have to work with it's very little how unfortunate for me to not have any lid space seismo is cute i don't know why i even start with my left eye because my right eye always comes out so much better i'm probably contradicting something that i've said in a past video to be honest but i don't know it has to be science or something and i'm also gonna drag seisma kind of underneath not all the way but kind of in that outer corner section of my eye as well i bought some eyeshadow brushes specifically for detailing because i'm like oh you know what it'll just be good like if i want to do something fun i'll have the tools I won't have to struggle. Here I am, just using the one brush. Why am I like this? And I'm just gonna go back in with Secret, um, the nude palette, and kind of just towards the front of my eye, blend that out a little bit. Alrighty, now I'm back in the Huda Beauty palette because I'm gonna take that like concealer shade. I think it's literally called Concealed or Concealer. I can't really see it because it's kind of rubbed off now. But I'm gonna take that and I'm going to cut out a shape on my crease not a cut crease but I'm going to outline where I want to put some of the lighter shadow in because I just want to define that area very well before I go in and do it I am not skilled enough to be attempting a cut crease this is not what this is and I just want to go from like the inner corner of my eye to like kind of the middle I feel like my eyes have a lot of folds in them I don't really know how to describe that as an eye shape but I'm trying to kind of go with the folds of my eye so that the shadow is not fighting with my eyelid. I don't really know <laughs> how else to phrase that. And I've noticed that both of my eyes are different shapes, like they fold in different places. So I'm kind of just accommodating for that. All right, now that we've got a guide, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia. I feel like I should use a flatter brush, but we're gonna give this a try. Ooh, ooh, wow, she is cute. Wow, I love this color. 
okay and then I'm just going in and kind of cleaning up around her a little bit you know just blending out I didn't add any shadow I'm just using the brush itself like I checked to make sure it was mostly clean I know like I just use it for some dark shadows so like I don't want to cross contaminate but I'm just blending out the area around it so it's just not as harsh I think I'm gonna adjust the shape a little bit I'm probably gonna regret this but I'm gonna round her off and bring her a little bit higher like in the center of my eye I feel like she's too narrow and then again just cleaning up a smidge kind of feeling like my eyes look naked so I'm gonna go ahead and do some liner and some lashes and pick a lip color these lashes are so very fittingly named heartbreaker um they're by tart i need tart to sponsor me because i love their lashes tart are you listening i have three followers today we are doing the p is for potent for my pout and i'm just kind of like using a little bit because i don't want it to be <laughs> too potent because i don't want it to take away from my shadow you know you know all right here she is my very quick very simple very easy valentine's day glam if y'all have stumbled across this video you're probably trying to get some ideas for some very special valentine's day plans maybe you just enjoy watching makeup videos whatever the reason if you don't have plans because you don't have a significant other i would highly encourage you to do something nice for someone in your life even if it's just platonic go out and get yourself a galentine i know how people talk about how it's, it's a holiday created by the card companies and the flower companies to make money but like i just think it's an excuse to just go out and do something nice you know if not a galentine mom or dad in time a sibling time somebody pick somebody in your life and just do something nice whether it's taking them out to dinner or getting them cards or chocolates write them a nice little note and just say how grateful you are to have them in your life just do something nice and spread love amongst the people that you have in your life all right that is it for this video thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye